the experience of war through the eyes of a child. The Battleship Missouri Memorial is inviting the public to a new exhibit called Life After Infamy, inspired by a woman who grew up in wartime Hawaii. Kamakapili has more. December 7th, 1941 is a day we will never forget. But at least people my age or us who were born after that day can only imagine, we can only read this in a book. Or you can come down to a brand new exhibit that is here at the Battleship M Missouri M uh, Museum that is gonna be open for a year, but it's really highlighting one experience for the most part, a Kama Aina's experience of that infamous morning. And to find out more about this, we are here with the lady herself, Auntie Dorinda Nicholas. Thank you very much, Auntie, for, for being here and for sharing your story because many of these pieces in this exhibit are donated from you. So if you don't mind me asking, I sp spoke with my tutu, she's 108. She has shared with me, I asked her, Tutu, how did you know Pearl Harbor was being bombed? And she said her husband came home, told her she didn't believe him until she looked up into the sky and she's seen airplanes playing chicken with each other. What is your story of realizing that Pearl Harbor was being bombed? I don't know that we realized, you know, even the men on the ship saw the airplanes coming in and said, how unusual Sunday morning the Army and Navy don't do practicing with each other. So I'm six, hearing the explosions, feeling the explosions. My father runs out the door and I'm right behind him and we stand in our yard. We look up just barely above the trees, just barely above our housetop. And airplanes are coming in for their final descent. We go up Lehua Avenue from the end of the peninsula, crossing Kamehameha Highway, and go up into the hills where the Waimanu home used to be, and hide in the sugarcane fields. I was speaking to you prior to this, and you had said something to me that really rang in my ear, is that we all are going to have our own Pearl Harbor, whatever that may look like. What do you mean by that? Every person has had their Pearl Harbor, will have a continuing Pearl Harbor. But if you're young, someday you will face your own 9-11. You will face your own Pearl Harbor. Use the people now in your life and the stories of who you are, your history, write it down write it down, share it from generations to generations. And the power of love and the power of aloha, share that, that is and can be your legacy. Well, thank you very much. Oh. There's not very much people we can talk to and hear that their experiences about this day. So thank you again, Auntie. And you're gonna have the chance to come down here and really hear and read about Auntie's life and experiences and see the, the pieces, the gas masks, the, the bullets, all of this again is her own personal that is, she has been putting on loan for this exhibit. So this will be up here for a year to get your tickets and to find out all the information about the Battleship Missouri Museum. Be sure to head to our website, khon2.com. And if there are any groups, schools that may be interested in speaking with Auntie up close and personal, that's also an option. Be feel, uh, feel free to visit our website. We'll have the link there as well. Kamakopili with khon 2 News, working for Hawaii.